Okay, I haven't videoed in a while, but I was at Michael's and I ran across these soft gel watercolor acrylic craft paints. Now, when they say watercolor, um, being the watercolor enthusiast that I am, I, I majored in ceramics, but watercolor was definitely my second uh, most favorite medium. So I grabbed them quickly because I wanted to, I was anxious to try them out, but um, I guess what I wanted to know if they were actually watercolors or if it was a paint designed for watercolor effect. Um, now, to Martha Stewart's credit, it does say that this is a craft paint. It does not say professional watercolor or anything like that. But I brought them home excited and I wanted to test them. So I brought the bottle right here and take the paint. And I squirt it in there and they come out just like acrylic paint so already I'm like okay if this were actually a watercolor as you can see if it was actually a watercolor they'd be very very expensive these were like 339 a little pricey for what they actually are but as you can see they come out very clumpy so I was a little bit put off by that and um, I decided to do a test sample and compare them with actual Winsor Newton professional watercolors to see what the difference was. Also I used um, on the test sample sheets I tried the new Bria Reese glitter watercolors. I'm not into glitter but I like art journaling sometimes when I'm restless I'll do that and so I like some of the effects of these things but I, I think that one's kind of cute for art journaling. Um, also the Maslov uh, Molotto however you say it um paint pencil i did a sample with that too so i'll just share those with you but the main focus here is going to be this um martha stewart watercolor and i wanted to see if it was actually watercolor so i mixed the paints up and you know if it's a watercolor the pigments um separate quickly and you get this very nice um watercolor paint but as you can see here it's very clumpy and um, very hard to miss, uh, mix and it is def definitely gelatinous. You can see the gel base. When you put it in water there is still, you know, in a, a base that is uh, ratio is more water. It's still very clumpy. Okay. So that right there right away told me now this either has a lot of vegetable glycerin in it like some of the cheaper watercolors, the crafty watercolors, and um, or maybe I got a bad mix or whatever but it's click quickly determining that this might not be a watercolor so <clears throat> I did a sample sheet now there are some things some samples I did I thought might have done a little bit better than watercolor so let's have a look here at Martha Stewart's and the two colors I used were called Granny Smith and um, Pacific Iris so there I tried the salt technique okay i think that the alcohol technique did very well this was a wet into dry wash okay this was with masking fluid um this was with acrylic ink there's the bria reese um glitter ink that i did in a, a variegated wash there is a wipeout with tissue there's plastic i think plastic did very well and so did the alcohol um so some of the techniques i think did a little bit better there, the mix is with a regular watercolor up top and the Martha Stewart watercolor on the bottom. As you can see, the brush strokes do not leave the Martha Stewart color. So it, it, it was, I was drawing the conclusion that this is definitely an acrylic paint, a craft acrylic paint. Okay. So here is an acrylic paint, um, Liquitex with, um, the Martha Stewart purple. Did not mix very well at all. Uh, wet into wet wash. You see it's very um, leaves markings that don't dissolve like a watercolor would. In this variegated wash um, you can still see brush strokes when it dries. That's another telltale sign. It's not watercolor. Um, here's a razor cut technique. Texture. Here it is again. Um, a wet into wet with acrylic paint and the watercolor. So and also, I just did a little watercolor sample there, but we'll get back to that. And here's a variegated wash. Um, 
that behave just like an acrylic paint that uh, needed several layers okay so my conclusion was that I could probably use it for art journaling but it's definitely not definitely not a professional watercolor um, my diagnosis is that um, it is a transparent acrylic paint with watercolor looking effects so make sure you know that difference so I'm gonna want you to compare here and then I did some actual watercolor techniques here so looking at the Martha Stewart um, Let's have a look. That is a uh, wet to dry technique using uh, tissue. Okay, wiping out some of that paint. There's the alcohol technique. As you can see, it came out a lot better on Martha Stewart's than this technique with the watercolor. There again, wet to dry wash. And there's the wipeout here. It, it, I really had to scrub to get something to come out. The plastic on the watercolor did not do as well to me as the Martha Stewart and then here is a wet to dry variegated wash okay that was labeled wrong and there is a razor cut done with the new Bria Reese ink watercolor glitter ink I thought it was good there's a variegated wash that is wet into wet so if you can compare the differences you see you get a lot more smooth transitioning with the watercolor that's with the masking fluid that's also with masking fluid so um, you can see a big difference to me in the two as opposed to one being watercolor and one not. And I was having so much fun that I did another watercolor. This here, I use the um, Modelov paint pen. And I don't know what these are supposed to be used for except maybe to draw on plastics and metals. Um, because it really ripped into my paper. You can hear that. It just tore the paper up. Okay. Um, so that's not my favorite thing. And I use it here onto a watercolor that had gouache. And it actually picked up the paint and turned pink. Um, but when I just did dots, it did okay. Because I wasn't actually using it. It was hard to mark with it because um, uh, it just kept eating up the paper. So this alcohol technique did, did a little better and this plastic technique here did a little bit better. So overall verdict, I'll stick to my watercolors and um, I'll probably use these for art journaling. And I think they'd be a great transparent layer because they come out a little bit glossy. So you can put your words down first if you wanted to or art under there and paint over these and get a very light effect. So that is my verdict. Good luck with that. Bye.